Well, okay, I don't know. I'm going where the freaking Amazon app is telling me to go, and she's leading me to this exactly. So, I don't know. I just went down this East Roth Road, and uh, and there was a spot where it said no turns, and I, well, she's sitting there telling me I have to turn there, so. I don't know, I guess I'm picking up a trailer from here. <laughs> modal trailer or I mean these trailers have GPS's on them so it must be this one right here I mean what a piece of shit I mean are you kidding me check in at SK SCK3 to continue What the fuck? Alright, I gotta go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good morning to you from Rapon, California. And, uh, and that is now turning, that is now shifting. It is now shifting from Rapon, California to Manteca, California. And uh, what do we got going on here today? Uh, let's see here. You know what? I need to put John hold for a minute and I need to check some things. Hang on. All right, well, I don't know. I just had to check and make sure I was going the right way. So, uh, yeah, uh, well, I mean, the, 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 the city limit, uh, the Manteca city limit sign, the Manteca city limit sign should have been a dead giveaway because that is where I'm headed to Manteca. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah, I'm scheduled to uh, pick up a load in Manteca here at 10 a.m. And uh, right now, let's do a check-in. Monday, September 21st. The time is 9.26 in the a.m. And we got a temperature of 73 degrees here in Manteca, California. You know me, I like to say it twice. Um, yeah, so picking up a load here in Manteca at 10 a.m scheduled pickup time and I will be hauling that on up to uh, Portland Oregon yep headed back to Portland headed back to Oregon yep so that's the deal uh, yes I'm sighing a bit because um, yeah not you know, uh, that just doesn't thrill me. I don't know. Doesn't thrill me. Yep. Uh, it's very pretty up there. It really is. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be like with all the smoke, but I can definitely see that there's uh, still quite a bit of haze here in California. Um, so I'm uh, imagining it'll probably still be like that up in Oregon. Um, Honestly, I wanted to head back eastbound again. I was quite happy being out there when I went out to, uh, when I drove that uh, load just recently out to Florida. And uh, I would have loved to just kind of tool around out there for a while, but the way things worked out, I ended up back here in California. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> you know, actually the boss, uh, you know, I think it was yesterday or maybe the, uh, well, yeah, I had to have been yesterday, you know, he's like, so, uh, so what do you want to do? You want to uh, do some, some runs up and down, you know, California, Oregon, for the app, you know, or I was like, well, not really. <laughs> I'd kind of rather just kind of do another long one, head back out east. And he 
was like, all right, let me see what I can do. And then next thing you know, I was doing a, <laughs> a round trip to Fresno and Stockton, and now I'm doing a trip up to Oregon. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. You don't always get what you wish for, and that's the nature of life, I suppose. So, again, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Not gonna complain about it, but I'm not gonna jump up and down for joy over it either. So, yep, headed up to Oregon. It's just, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. I thoroughly enjoy driving out east. I just like it. I like driving around out there. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's a good mesh when I'm out there. I mesh well somehow. Over here, I just don't feel like I mesh well. So, so that's the deal with that. And uh, yeah, so what do we got? Uh, 8.5 miles to go to get to my destination in Manteca. 4.6 miles, so I need to hop off the 99 here. Funny, uh, I don't know, I, I just, I don't know. It's just now when I went to go get on 99, I I don't know, I plugged in the address on Sheila, I let her do the thinking, I'm, it's still early for me. I didn't get to sleep till three o'clock last night and then had to get up at eight. So I'm still a little foggy, so I plug in the address and let her do the thinking. And uh, you know, she's like, all right, you know, you know, hop on the purple line, <laughs> basically, that's the way it works, so, you know, get onto the path, right, all right, and, and I don't know, I could have sworn the sign said 99 South, and that's where I was getting on, I wasn't really putting two and two together, Ramon, Manteca, sounds about right, 99 South, I got on 99, I'm sitting there, I'm looking at the angle of the sun, I'm going, wait a minute, I'm going north. You know, that's what I was thinking as I just started that video. That's why I had to put it on pause for a minute. And I was like, hey, wait a minute, the angle of the sun tells me I'm going north. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, sure enough, I'm going north on 99 to Manteca, and I thought it was going to be south, but uh, whatever. That's just, uh, like I said, I just kind of got up and, yeah, I got to it, so. Yep. So yeah, I guess uh, yeah, not much to talk about as far as the round trip that I just did uh, down to Fresno and back to Stockton. Um, oh shit, where am I going here? I am uh, I am off. Proceed to route. I am off my route here. Route recalculation. Proceed uh, to route. After three miles, keep right and take the exit. Ah, uh, yes, you know what? That's the other thing I forgot to do. Alright. Yep, that's the other thing I forgot After to do. After 2.5 miles, keep right and take the exit. You know, the thing that I can't stand about this freaking Amazon app, not, I mean, besides just the voice, is I can't, um, ah, uh, yeah, once it's going, I can't, uh, zoom out and see, all I see is just an arrow on top of the straight purple line. I can't see where it's gonna go, <laughs> nothing. I can't zoom out, I can't, uh, you know, like uh, manipulate it in any way. So that doesn't help. <laughs> and let's see where Sheila has me going here. Because uh, I'm going to, uh, what was it? Uh, North Airport Way or something like that. Sheila's taking me to South Airport Way because she didn't recognize the, uh, the North Airport Way. Yeah, so they're basically essentially kind of the same. What it looks like. I just kind of got to go up and backtrack just a little bit, but that's fine. That's no big deal. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, not a heck of a lot to report about that round trip to uh, Fresno and back to Stockton. After one mile, keep right and take the exit. Oh, wait a minute. That's not true. There one was an event. One quarter miles, take exit 250 on the right to Arch Road, then keep left. Yeah, there are things to report, actually. So, um, so it was all uneventful until I got down there to Fresno. And so I'm doing a long 99 south. And uh, I had come into Fresno city limits 
and over on the, uh, the opposite lanes, the northbound lanes, I could tell there was like all of a sudden just no cars, and uh, yeah, I could see off kind of in the distance, uh, you know, emergency, you know, CHP lights or whatever, yellow and red flashers. And wow, okay, wow, these, you know, and there was no cars coming. So wow, okay, right, right up After the top. After a corner like, of a mile, keep right. I'm like, wow, exit so. 250 towards our target. Stockton Metro right. Airport. Two. They've Archway. shut down yeah, northbound lanes for some reason. And so as I'm going past it, uh, yeah, there was just all, like all the police cars blocking everything. And then, now um, keep right and take the exit. And then, uh, here, you know, I'm gonna turn this one off. After go. a quarter of a mile, keep left towards Arch Road West. Um, and so as I got, you know, more, you know, further into it, I was looking on the, you know, on those northbound I'll lanes. Left. And there was a bunch of, uh, you know, CHP officers out there. Uh, let me see, what's going on here? What do we got going? Follow the course of the road for two miles. Um... And they were out there uh, with flashlights, like combing the lanes, you know, like looking with flashlights down uh, down the length of the lanes. And behind one of the cruisers, I could see what looked like a um, travel uh, suitcase handle sticking up. Like, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if maybe somebody threw something off of the overpass into the, into traffic, like threw a suitcase off it, or or threw themselves off the overpass into traffic. You know, like, cause there's a lot of homeless people down there who are uh, encamped along the shoulders of the freeway, you know, and on the on-ramps, and you know, on the, uh, you know, a lot of the streets just off of it, off the, off the 99. So, um, yeah, I don't know what it was. I was trying listening to it on the scanner, but I couldn't really get it through. I, I couldn't hear anything. And then, uh, so, uh, yeah, and then, so, then the reason why it makes me wonder if it was a homeless person who just, like, threw themselves into traffic was because, um, you know, when I took my exit, it was the type of exit where you go right off the freeway. And then it and then it goes up a ramp and then up and over the freeway again, right? And kind of like a like a, a fast exit that kind of loops up around over the freeway at speed, right? And uh, as I was coming off of that, like I had gone over the freeway over 99, and I uh, was coming down like you know into where there would be a reduced speed zone. You know, and it was just me out there with the trailer, and you know, up ahead, I just caught the, you know, uh, you know the uh, the sight of like a homeless woman like walking across, and I could not see her for nothing. I, I the only reason why I saw her was just it was just kind of like uh, you know perfect timing that I had just flipped my brights on. And, and I mean, like, if she was walking across the lanes right in front of me, if I, you know, if I had to flip my brights on and slow down, uh, it very likely, possibly could have just took her out. And she, she wasn't moving fast at all, like, she was kind of disabled, you know. Like, man, you know. So then, uh, <laughs> I got to the Amazon, and this, the Amazon down there was tricky, tricky. It was a tricky, it was the most tricky uh, Amazon location I've had to deliver and or pick up at. Just because, like, to get into it, there's a big sign and it says, Drivers, do not pull forward in. There's no place to turn around. You must back your truck in. And it was off After of, like... three quarters of a mile turn left. It's off of, like, a little tiny street, you know, just like a little, almost like a residential, you know, size street that you have to uh, back in from. And then uh, and then where you back in, uh, your trailer to the dock doors was super tight too. So that was the most technical delivery that I've made yet. Yeah, I wish, I wish there, uh, you know, like I had, you know, somehow been able to record it or something, but that didn't happen. Nope. 
people. Well, you don't think about those kind of things when you're faced with a challenge like that. You're just like, all right, how do I gonna deal with this? And uh, I got, you know, got it worked out. After 1,000 feet, turn left onto South Airport Way. All right, you little stoner. She sounds like just such a fake head. I don't know, it's funny. Yeah, she just sounds like she's just smoking a blunt all day long. <laughs> funny. After now four, turn left. Now turn left. <laughs> like, after 400 feet, Grab some chickies, grab some Fritos. <laughs> After, <laughs> we gonna go to Safeway? <laughs> yeah, so. <sighs> so, there we go. There is the uh, Monday morning video update for y'all. Yep. What do we got here? 4.1 miles to go still. Wow. Boy, good old Sheila really did take me off the track, huh? I don't know why it is that she still doesn't recognize uh, certain uh, certain streets and roads. Uh, after the night, because I did update for their map thing, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So I don't know. We're not talking about like like new roads or streets or whatever that just opened up last week. We're talking about that have opened up within the last year or two. So yeah.